there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be trying out some aliexpress makeup and i'm also going to be revisiting a palette that i reviewed a short while ago i am kind of into this idea at the moment of kind of you know going back and re-looking at products that i've already tested like i'm kind of a bit low on products to test like i'll be honest but the second point which i think is a valid one is that you know we do live in a society now where we just kind of well not this isn't a society but you know on youtube we test something out once and i'm guilty of this by the way like so i hold my hands up i am a review channel so i mean you know i do test a lot of products but i'm very guilty of the fact that i will test something out and then i will push it to one side and then you never see it again and you're probably thinking well like where the fuck did that go so now i'm trying to you know like be a bit more like re recycling like am i recycling i don't know but anyway guys so today we're going to be dipping back into the belonging palette by you can be this is my favorite ever eyeshadow palette from aliexpress and i am going to be doing a giveaway i've got 10 of these palettes to give away that you can be sent me so i'm gonna have oh maybe even by this point the details will be up so i thought it'd be like a really good time just to you know dip back into this palette also have the beautiful uh three dimensional highlighter powder by novo and i've got the kamaju lipstick also just to let you know as well i'm wearing the miss rose natural oh sorry no it's not it's not I, I thought i knew the name and i totally didn't so this is the miss rose purely natural foundation that i recently tested i'm wearing it today i absolutely love this it feels so comfortable on the skin it's so dewy it has no coverage whatsoever so if you're looking for coverage then this guy is not for you but if you're looking for a dewy, very natural, kind of make your skin look very healthy um, kind of foundation, then this is the guy for you. I mean, really. Also, as my contour today, I've used the Fuckle Your Sculpt and Glow um, kind of duo. And I've got the contour on today. This is in the shade 01 Maui Nights and Opal. And there she goes. If you like an extremely cool toned kind of bronzer slash contour, then this guy will definitely be for you. If you don't like a cool toned um, kind of bronzer, then this guy is not for you. Don't touch her with a barge pole. I mean, really, guys. Okay, so today we're going to begin um, with trying out the Novo three dimensional highlighting powder. It just says on the back makeup smooth and fit. Yeah, whatever that means. Makeup feeling transparent. Light feeling is bright. Repair face stereo. Mm hmm guys. Mm hmm Yes, it makes no sense to me either. So this is what she looks like. She has a beautiful kind of emblem of a flower. Fortunately, flowers are not my specialty. So, like, I can't really identify what kind of flower this is, but it looks really pretty. This is a beautiful light gold shade. The thing that really got me excited about this was well a that they put a lot of effort into the packaging i think it looks super super gorgeous but b um it's definitely one of those highlighters that is almost weightless in a way it doesn't feel very like powdery or chalky and it just kind of glides onto your skin like satin and it's really got that wet look sheen that um you know i i just i go hard for you know we're gonna be just trying her on now i've not actually got any blush on yet and i'm thinking like do i need blush in my life today should i just put i'll pop a little bit on because i just feel a bit like naked without blush i say that but actually like i forget blush every single day i want to use like a matte kind of blush today i just picked up hula no that that won't work so and i don't want to sparkle like you're the camera we don't care could you not have thought about this before turning the camera on i know guys i'm sorry but i want to try and get like a blush that again you don't care right i'll just i'm doing this in my own time guys okay so i've just applied the matte super light peach blush from the nars palette and I might as well just not have bothered because can you see it? Maybe a little bit, but probably not. So I'm just going to have a little spritz. 
of my favourite Morphe setting spray and we're going to go straight in with the beautiful looking Novo, Novo, Novo up your ass, what? Oh my gosh, Honeys and the boys are just off to a party, I'll give them a little wave, oh, do you know what, Honeys has taken one for the team today, um, one of Andres' friends was having a party and I made an epic mistake, Like I thought it was like Saturday today, I thought the party was tomorrow um but then i te sent a text to the mom asking if alex could go because alex is the world's biggest gate crasher he gate crashes all of dre's friends parties it's unbelievable but um yeah i asked if alex could go and she's like oh yeah you know it's today right i'm like oh shit shit i suck at organization it's a wonder that i actually make it through the day honey's has just actually come back in i think he forgot the present but anyway he's taken one for the team today so that i can film i will definitely be giving him a blowjob later i mean he deserves it guys the setting spray is kind of dried now so there's that because I've, I've talked for so long but let's do this let's just go go right in okay i'm ready to glow Oh yes, oh yes, bitch yes, 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 oh my gosh. Do you know what this really reminds me of it, um, in terms of like the formula and how it kind of looks on the skin? It's so similar to, it's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish and this has such a similar look on the skin. You know like with some highlighters they can look a little bit like powdery or chalky or like heavy on your face and they can really accentuate like pores and fine lines. This one looks almost like a cream product. It's just so smooth and silk-like. Just gives you that real kind of bam of wet look sheen. I am in love. Oh my gosh, like I'm definitely, 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 I'll say again, impressed. Like either this is the world's most shittiest mirror or it's got one of those like little, you know, like the covers on it that you have to like, you know, pull off, but I don't know, like, oh no, you, it has, it's got like a sticker on. I was thinking, oh my gosh, they really, really went cheap on the mirror. But no, <gasps> look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. You might even be able to see Honey's going back out in a minute, maybe. Probably not. Let's do this. Oh guys, this is absolutely beautiful. I did have a handful of other shades as well. Uh, they had lighter shades, darker shades. I think they even had a duochrome shade. So I feel like, you know, everybody could definitely find a shade that they they would like. Oh my gosh, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yes, bitch, yes, there's honeys. Okay, I'll give him a little wave. He's taking one for the team. What a guy. Like, what a guy. He's going to have to sit with all the other mums, listen to them all gossiping. Oh, my gosh. He is ah, fecking phenomenal. We'll do the tip of the nose. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not in any way, like, being negative about, like, kids' parties, but... Not my favourite pastime. And because I get so angry... Oh, God, that looks fecking amazing. Look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh. Because I get, like, really, really anxious. Like, don't don't worry. I'm not one of these YouTubers that... Maybe I do, actually. Maybe I am one of those YouTubers. But I don't really feel anxiety all the time. But in social situations, which it actually is probably 89% of my week, then I do feel anxious. The fecking postman's just arrived, guys. I'm so excited because I thought that they'd already been and I just had no mail today, but he's here now. And he's put his shorts on because he knows summer is coming. Guys, this is beautiful. This, this is absolutely gorgeous. At this point, I feel like potential. Oh, shit. <laughs> is she okay? Is she okay? <gasps> oh, Ah, oh, yes, she's fine, guys. I'm so, so sorry about that. I will be more careful in future. I was just about to say she is, I think, my my favourite ever highlighter that I've ever got from AliExpress because I just think this is beautiful. It, like, this, this kind of bit of highlight up here between the eyes, it just looks like 
the sun has hit my face and burst but like in a really good way not not in like a literal way like the sun had hit my face because that that i would not be looking great really then um i don't think i would even be recognizable anymore but this is great if you like highlighters if you like some some good honest natural glow mm, this is your man like this i don't know why i'm so obsessed with like this is your man today but this is the man for you if you just want well look sheen goodness i just feel like i could just put this on my vagina and call it a day do you know what i mean maybe later when i'm giving honeys his bj i could just sprinkle a little bit of this you know on the vagina um i'm kind of surprised actually that clitoris highlighting hasn't become a thing yet because like, i'm not saying i would want to do it necessarily you know maybe on a saturday night i don't know but you know everything else seems to have become a trend but nobody's nobody's thought of the clitoris like people just ignore that anyway luckily honey's doesn't but guys anyway nobody cares okay so guys next we're going to move on to the lipstick because i feel like if i apply it now we'll have the rest of the video to kind of keep our eyes on it and see what it's doing and then we can see how it lasts so this is by a camera don't we just love camera yes we do we love them Kamaju for me, Kamaju for you, Kamaju for the postman, Kamaju, Kamaju, Kam, 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 Somebody stop me, please, like guys, somebody fecking stop me. I was woken up this morning by Alex weeing on me, so I feel like like that's my excuse for being a bit random in the video today. But anyway, so this is by Kamaju. This is oh, what she looks like. She is very similar to the Hourglass lipsticks. The only kind of main difference is, is that this one you don't have to sell your kidney for. So that's always a great thing. I have tried one of these before. It was in a much lighter shade, but I had nothing but great things to say about it. The only kind of negative I'll say right now, um, from what I can remember from last time, the tip is a little bit small. Like I am definitely used to dealing with much uh, bigger tips you know than this on my lips but i mean you know we can we can cope with it so guys let's just get straight into this why do i keep the feeling they need to say let's just get straight into this like really guys i should just start my meetings at, at work you know like okay let's just get straight into this guys like let's i mean i don't ever do that but i should like why not anyway uh, oh what this is nothing like the color i expected it to be look at the color there it's like a really deep vampy kind of um i don't know purple but that's like oh it's a lot lighter on the lips guys anyway okay oh i feel like i need a lip liner should we go in with a lip liner now that we know what kind of color this is um should we try this lip liner because this lip liner again is a bit of a catfish lip liner it looks like it's going to be darker than it is like you'll see what i mean like look at the color there this is by morphe by the way but look like it's so much lighter than you would expect so i feel like these two are like a catfishing pair made in heaven okay so i've lined my lips really badly and we're ready now to uh, apply the lipstick so let's do this Oh, that's a fecking postman. Like, why would you come with? Why? He's here. And my fecking lips are like this. Why does this always happen to me, guys? I feel like I'm a good person. Anyway, he's going to go. So, feck this. Oh, guys. Well, that was awkward. These post people are just going to hate me. Because every time I answer the door, I've just got some crazy situation going on because they insist on coming at the time that i film i mean really guys but anyway I, i'm just gonna carry on once again the formula of this is immaculately beautiful it's super i mean i know i've not finished yet but I, I just have to tell you right now it goes on super smoothly it's so opaque it's just, look at this. Can you see? I mean, I, oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to do the rest. Okay.
I mean, this really has the feel of a high-end lipstick, but the only thing that I will say is I did notice, like, particularly on the bottom lip, and I don't know if you can see it, but I did notice that um, it, there's almost like little black bits, and, and I'm making this sound a lot worse than it actually is. And maybe I'm just like imagining it, but I just felt like they were little like black. I don't, can you see? Am I imagining it, guys? Like little black bits that were kind of coming off. But I mean, like you definitely can't see that, you know, um, if if you're a reasonable kind of distance away from me. If you're invading my personal body space, then you probably can see the black bits. And I feel like that's your punishment for invading my personal body space. But I once again think that this is such an exquisite formula. I wouldn't say it's like super matte, but at the same time, I wouldn't say it's like a satin finish like I honestly have no idea it feels so comfortable on the lips and what I found with the other shade I tried was that it actually it stayed put for ages and uh, so I feel like these have really really good lasting power it's kind of like lasting power game strong with these ones I do feel like you know like I said in the haul this is like smoking like a fancy you know sniggerette I mean gone with the wind you know and, I, and I, this is just me like with my cat ears in Gone With The Wind. We are going to finish off with the Belonging palette because I have already done a review of this palette. I'm not going to be doing swatches today. So I am probably just going to kind of pop you in fast forward uh, but then like, I just thought it'd be fun to like jump back into the palette again um, because as I say this is definitely my favourite ever eyeshadow palette from AliExpress. The formula is exceptional. Again, Shimmer Game is strong with this one. You know, I mean, Matte Game is strong with this one. Just the everything game, like just killing the makeup game is, is strong with this one. We are going to begin today with jumping into this very light camel vagina shade. And then I think I'm going to go in with this kind of uh, warm toned brown, is it? I don't know. So, okay, let's get this party started. Okay, so I have finished the look and I am so, so happy with how it went. Like, not bigging myself up or anything, but I'm, I just think I've been blessed today. I mean, really, guys, I really do. This is the finished eye look. I absolutely love this uh, kind of dark, kind of green shimmer. This look is actually making me think of Christmas. I think this would be a great Christmas day kind of um scenario look they love the green shimmer i think it's kind of grungy especially with the um kind of you know the warmer toned brown in the crease i also put the same brown underneath and then you will have all seen me seen me what what i'm when can you even speak english no you will have all witnessed me like is i don't even know you will have witnessed me putting the beautiful novo highlighter in my inner corner I still haven't mastered the inner corner. Like, I know I mentioned this in a video a couple of, or maybe a few videos back. I cannot make the inner corner look good. I, it just looks shit on me whenever I do it. Lips are, oh shit, what the feck? Have I got the green shimmer on it? Holy shit, I think I have. 
Oh, yes, I have. I like, okay, it doesn't look terrible. Can you see? Oh, my gosh, I kind of like it. You know, sometimes when mistakes actually work out well. So, okay, I'm going to pop, pop more and why not? Look at this, guys. Do you know what? I might just edit that last bit out and just pretend that I meant to do this. But I won't because, you know, I'm not an asshole like that. There we go, guys. Do you know what? I am a huge fan of everything that I've tried once again. This Novo highlighter is exceptional. I cannot get across to you just how enamored I am by this. I've got lots of highlighters, like lots, lots. There's, there's too many. I've got High End, I've got like Ultra, I've got MAC, I've got NARS, I've got my brain's failed me like there's lots of higher end there's lots of like middle end middle middle end what i don't know that's an oxymoron isn't it or is it an oxymoron is an oxymoron not like oh i'm that's bad when you mean that's good oh my gosh who cares but i've just got lots of highlighters right and this one feels so expensive it feels luxurious not only with the packaging but also with the actual formula this is great. Like, this is great. It's propelled itself right to the top of my favourite highlighters now from AliExpress. I cannot recommend this enough. Pop some in your basket because I'm going to be popping another shade in my basket. So pop at least one for yourself. Like, I'm sorry. I know I'm an enabler. I know I'm terrible. Like, I do formally apologise to all of your bank accounts. But no, if it costs £50, I won't be like, oh yeah, go buy it. Because that would just be like me being a complete and utter asshole. But... Anyway, what I'm trying to say is she is my new highlighter bay, and I love her. I also really like this lipstick. It feels really comfortable. I feel like, you know, I could just leave this on and it, it would not go anywhere, really. It probably would, like, you know, when I'm giving Honey his um, thank you blowjob later. Really good formula, um, opaque, pigmented, went on beautifully. And I feel like it has got good lasting power as well. So I'm really liking this. Did I try anything else? No, I didn't. Oh my gosh, the belonging palette, spectacular. I definitely recommend it. If there's one palette, oh, not even one palette, because actually what I always say with like eyeshadow palettes is like, I don't know, eyeshadow palettes are very subjective because at the end of the day, even though I love the belonging palette, you may not like any of the, the shades in there, so therefore there'd be no point in you buying it. However, I've just made this so confusing for myself, but um, uh, um, if you like the shades in this palette and you feel like you would use it and have lots of fun with it, get it. Seriously, guys, get it. Um, I am going to be in... Well, I probably have... I think, I don't know, who knows, but I probably have announced the details of the giveaway at this point, so if you have entered the giveaway, good luck. I hope you all win, honestly. Anyway, it's with a heavy heart that I'm going to have to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I really, really appreciate it, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one.